Okay, here's a video related to limitations of memory. Let's open a file explorer window and right click this PC and go to properties. Okay, and here you can see that although it's a 64 bit operating system, out of 8 gigabytes of memory, only 7.7 .7 is being used. So this limitation will be eliminated in the following way. Currently, the computer is using an onboard video card and that is visible here in device manager display adapter and here you can see that that's the dedicated graphics card and that's the onboard graphics card so currently this one is used and this one since it does not have memory that video card which is on the motherboard that's why is allocating memory random access memory from the motherboard and that's why this limitation is here if I use the other video card the dedicated one Radeon which is inside the PCI Express slot then this memory limitation will disappear from here okay so the monitor is plugged in into both of these video cards one is using a VGA cable and the other one is using an HDMI cable so let's restart the computer and enter BIOS. This is Windows 10. Restart Windows. Windows is restarting and I will use the delete key on the keyboard to enter BIOS. Press delete a few times and it should enter BIOS. Entering setup it says. Okay, so on this motherboard let's use the arrow keys. It's an SROC N68CSUCC. That's the motherboard that I'm using. Let's go here to advanced and let's go here to chipset configuration. Chipset and primary graphics adapter is set to onboard. Let's modify that one and set it to the one which is on the PCI Express slot. Okay, and this one. Let's leave it here for example and let's see if it will allocate memory. So I'm saving it with F10. Save configuration, changes and exit. If it's still allocating memory then I should set it to auto instead of that 256. Okay, let's wait until Windows loads. Okay, Windows started but the monitor is completely black so I have to unplug the VGA cable which is used by the onboard video card. So here on the back of the computer, this blue cable, that's the VGA, that's the video card which is on the motherboard. I will unplug that one. Okay, and the other card is this one, it's a Radeon video card and that has an HDMI cable plugged in. I will leave that one there. Okay, and after unplugging the VGA cable, the display is back, now everything is visible. Okay, and let's press the Windows key and brake, Windows 7 brake for the system properties window. And the memory limitation is still there. So we have to set it from 256 megabytes of memory to auto. Okay, so let's restart it once again. Restart Windows and enter BIOS once again. Press the delete key on the keyboard to enter BIOS. Now press delete. Press F2 or delete to enter setup. Okay, so let's go back to advanced. Let's go to chipset configuration and set the share memory to auto okay and since the PCI Express card is the default one primary graphics adapter is this one then the memory limitation should disappear because the other one this one has its own dedicated memory and in this menu nothing is selected okay so let's press F10 to save the changes Save configuration and exit setup, ok. And let's enter Windows once again. Ok, Windows started, Windows and break key again for the system properties and as we can see 8GB of memory and there's no limitation. 
it was totally eliminated and since this graphics card has its own dedicated memory then there's no need to allocate memory from the motherboard thus all gigabytes are available